everyone welcome back to the channel so today in this video lecture we're going to be solving this problem flight discount which is a problem taken from CSCS problem set and this is one of the really interesting problem which is solved using diastra algorithm so let's see how we can solve this problem using diastra algorithm let's read the problem statement so basically you're given a map of routes so there are certain cities connected with some paths and your task is to find a minimum price flight route from this city Sergela to Metzela. So these are the two cities which are there in the graph containing these cities connected with the weighted edges. So you have one discount coupon using which you can halve the price of any single flight during the route. So we have a certain fruit from uh, so we have a certain route from Sergela to Metzela. Now along that route there are edges because a route is nothing but a set of edges connected with each connecting the intermediate cities with each other. Now each edge has a certain weight. You have a discount coupon where you can halve the cost of any edge or the price of any single flight during that route and we can use that coupon exactly once and we have to use the coupon in the most optimal way such that I can reach from this Sergela to Metzela in minimum price okay so you got the problem statement basically we are given a graph of cities which are connected by edges representing the flights so they are flight connections so let's take an example to understand this better so let's take this example we have a set of three cities and they are connected by these edges so there is a flight from a city number one to city number two which has a cost of three units that there is a flight from city number two to city number one which has a cost of five units then there is a flight from city number 1 to city number 3 with a cost of 7 units. So what you can do is choose some path of starting from this city 1 which is Sergela to Metzera which is city number n. So there are so n for this case is 3. We have 3 cities here in this graph or map. So we start from city number 1 which is the source city and we want to reach this city number 3 which is the destination city. I have multiple paths to move from 1 to 3 that is one of the path is this that is just move from 1 to 3 along this flight there is a direct flight which costs 7 units then there is a flight where we have to stop at an intermediate city which is city number 2 so we move from city number 1 to city number 2 with a cost of 3 units then from city number 2 to city number 1 with a cost of 1 unit so there are two paths basically okay one of them is one to 3 direct path another is move from 1 to 2 then move from 2 to 3 now but I have a coupon okay I have a discount coupon which halves the price of a single flight so here in this path I have two flights one flight is from city number 1 to city number 2 and the second flight is from city number 2 to city number 3 while along this route I have exactly one flight that is from city to city city 1 to city 3 with the cost of 7 unit so this discount coupon can be used for exactly one flight and it simply halves the price of that flight for instance in this case if I go along this direct flight from 1 to 3 the price will be reduced to 7 by 2 that is 3 and the cost for this path is basically 3 units or okay while for this path that is from 1 to 2 then from 2 to 3 I can use it for this flight or for this flight now, if I use it for this then it would be 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 and the floor of 0 0.5 and the floor of 0 0.5 will be 0 because we have to take the floor of the halved values 
so the overall price for this route from 1 to 3 with an intermediate city of through 2 will be if I use the coupon on the flight from 2 to 3 it would be 3 fine because I will have no cost to move from 2 to 3 while if I use the coupon for this flight that is from 1 to 2 then the cost would be 3 by 2 plus 1 that is floor of 3 by 2 plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 that will give me 2 so out of these 3 routes which one is the best obviously this one that is move from 1 to 2 use the coupon then from move then move from 2 to 3 finally fine so that's what we have to do in this problem we have to use the discount coupon exactly once and find the shortest path or the path with minimum price to reach the destination city n fine so in the input will be given two integers n and m representing the number of cities and the flight connections the cities are numbered from 1 to n city number 1 is Sergela or city 1 is the source city while city number n is the Metzela or it is the destination city where I want to reach now after this there will be m lines which describes the flight so there will be three integers in each line representing that a flight starts from a which is the first integer ends at b which is the second integer and its price is c which is the third integer each flight is unidirectional so that means the graph will be of directed edges and we can assume that it is always possible to get from the source city to the destination city there is always a, a way So what do we have to do is just print one integer that is the minimum cost that we can have after applying exactly one coupon to exactly one flight in the most optimal path fine so that's what we have to do in this problem statement let's think let's see how we can think about it one of the ways or one of the naive thinking that one may have is that just find the shortest path from one to n find the shortest path using a desk trial algorithm and okay so let's say I find a shortest route using desk trial algorithm like this there's a like move from one to some node then from that node to another node and finally reach the destination node that is node number n now it has some weight like let's say 20 this edge has a weight like 30 this edge has a weight like 200 now I want to reach from 1 to n this is the shortest path using diastral algorithm which I have found so just use diastral algorithm store the shortest path using a parent array and what what do we have to do is just take out every edge pick out pick the first edge this one half the price it would be 10 and just check the answer okay the answer would be in this case 10 plus 30 plus 200 that would be 240 this is the very first case when I uh, like use the coupon on my first flight then try to use the coupon on the second flight it would give me 15 so 20 plus 15 35 235 now try to use the coupon on the third flight that is this one it would be like 200 divided by 2 would be 100 so 130 150 so out of these answers 150 is the best so use that coupon for this flight now this is one of the most naive approach approaches that one may think but this is wrong there is a problem with this approach why let's see that so let's think about this graph let's take an ex okay now let's find the so the naive approach will simply find the shortest path so now according to the naive approach the shortest path would be this move from 1 to 2 then from 2 to 4 with a total weight or price of 200 okay now try to use the coupon at every edge first use here it would give me 150 because this will become 50 50 plus 100 will be 150 then use here it will again give me 150 so this will be the minimum cost which I can have which I will have if I use 
the coupon exactly once with on the shortest path calculator using test algorithm but observe this path here from 1 to 3 then from 3 to 4 use the coupon here it would give me 100 now 100 plus 10 is 110 it is better the most optimal path would be to move from 1 to 3 then from 3 to 4 and use the coupon on this flight from 3 to 4 that means the standard Dastra algorithm or the naive approach where simply find the, the shortest path from one t from node number 1 to node number n and try to use the coupon at every intermediate city or at every flight which I encounter along that shortest path ok it fails here so we have to think about it we have to think a better approach let's see what is the better approach to solve this problem basically what do we have to do this in this problem how it is obvious that I have to traverse every edge like I have to pick every edge I have to pick every flight in the graph and just try to reduce its cost by 2 like how its cost C by 2 and then try to check if if I get a reduction in the cost I have to do this okay and I really don't know which edge I have to, on which edge I have to use that coupon that's the problem there is no guarantee that the coupon that I am using um, there is no guarantee that the flight on which I am using the coupon lies along the shortest path from 1 to n it may lie at any it may lie anywhere in the graph that means we have to consider every edge now so any flight in the graph like this connects two nodes let's say node number A and node number B so let's say this is the flight where I have to reduce the cost such that it will give me the best answer so C has to be reduced to C by 2 and that will do the job I have found the edge so we have to think in terms of edges we have to we are unaware of the edge where I have to use the coupon so I'm just thinking from the point of view of edges so here we have edge I reduce the cost from C to C by 2 now how will it change my answer now think about it there is some somewhere here we have a source node there is somewhere here we have a destination node n now if I find the shortest path from 1 to a and the shortest path from n to b let's say it is k1 let's say it is k2 and this is the optimal edge I which I have found so the answer would be k1 plus k2 plus c by 2 you got it now I don't know which uh, I don't know which edge will do the job I'm unaware of the edge so I have to consider every edge fine now the approach is simple traverse every edge of the graph okay so for every edge we have two nodes a node where the edge starts a node where the edge ends or a node where the flight starts or the node where the flight ends now for every edge reduce its cost from C to C by 2 here find the shortest path from the source node to the node where the flight starts here A find the shortest path from N to the flight where it ends uh, to the node where the flight ends which is B and add these paths add these lengths with the reduced edge weight like this and do it for every edge of the graph okay for every edge 
that means i have to know the shortest path from source node to every node of the graph also i have to know the shortest path or the single source shortest paths lengths basically from node number n to every node of the graph okay it is the obvious conclusion if i want to apply this formula from one to every node from n to every node only in that case i can say okay let's just sum up these weights k1 plus k2 that is going to give me the minimum weight or the shortest paths or the least cost from 1 to a and from n to b where a and b is the flight on which i am applying the coupon and i am trying to apply the coupon on every flight and finding the most optimal flight out of all those flights fine so i hope you got the approach what we have to do in this problem so let's just dry run the approach okay and this is a directed graph what do we have to do is to just use the approach which i explained here so for that i have to find the shortest path from node number 1 to every node of the graph so from node number 1 to node number 2 the shortest path would be so let's calculate that array so let's calculate the shortest path from node number 1 to no to every node so from node 1 to node number shortest path from 1 to 2 in 2 is of 3 units and from 1 to 3 is of 4 units let's find the shortest path from from node number 3 to every node now how would i find that now to find this ssp this single source shortest path array i just have to run the dastra algorithm from node number 1 to every node of the graph and i will have this type of ssp graph or shortest path from node number 1 to every node now to find the shortest paths from node number 3 to every node i can't run dastra on this graph rather i have to make a reverse graph that means i have to reverse all the edges that is corresponding to the this graph which we are given in the problem statement the we have to prepare a graph like this so reverse this edge with the same weight reverse this edge with the same weight reverse this edge as well with the same weight 5 it is 3 and reverse this edge as well with weight 1 so they are numbered 1 3 now on this reverse graph run dastra algorithm making 3 as the source node run dastra algorithm now the single source now the shortest path from node number 3 to every node will be just move from 3 to 2 then from 2 to 1 giving me a weight of 1 plus 3 that is 4 units then from 3 to 2 it would be simply this edge that is of one unit fine so we have the target graphs that we wanted now just go through every edge of this graph okay traverse every edge Trav let's traverse this edge that is 1 to 3 now reduce its weight from 7 to 7 by 2 floor of 7 by 2 it will be 3 right now find the so find the shortest path from source node to node number 1 it would be 0 find the shortest path from node number 3 to node number 3 because this is the destination node and this is also the node where the flight is landing so it would also be 0 while the edge weight will be 3 after applying the coupon so it will give me a cost of 3 units let's traverse over this edge that is 1 to 2 find the shortest path from source node to node number 1 it is of length 
find the shortest path from node from node from node number 3 to node number 2 it would be of length 1 because we can see that from 3 to 2 the shortest path has a length of 1 here it is it has a cost of 1 so put 1 here then apply the coupon over this edge 3 will go to 3 by 2 floor of 3 by 2 it will give me 1 so the cost would be 2 now let's apply the coupon over this edge that is from 2 to 1 or this flight for that i have to find the shortest distance from the destination node to node number 2 that is from 3 to 2 it is 1 also now apply the coupon over this edge that is from 2 to 3 so for that find the shortest distance from so city that is 1 to city number 2 that will give me a cost of 3 units so 3 plus apply the coupon over this flight that is from 2 to 3 1 by 2 the floor of 1 by 2 will be 0 plus find the shortest distance from node number 3 to node number 3 that would be 0 that will give me 3 fine now apply the coupon from node number over this edge over this flight from 2 to 1 so it will give and for that find the shortest path from destination city find the shortest path from the city number 1 to city number 2 so from city number 1 which is the so city to city number 2 the shortest distance is 3 plus or the price it's like distance i am don't be confused with the distance and price they are basically the same i'm referring the distance as the price of the flight from between two nodes now from 1 to 2 th it would be 3 units here i can see from this single source shortest path graph now i'm applying the coupon over the flight from 2 to 1 so it would be floor of 5 by 2 that is 2 plus find the shortest distance from the des destination city to this city number 1 where this edge is ending that is 4 so that will give me 3 plus 4 that is 7 plus 2 that is 9 okay basically the path which i am taking is this like so the path which i am using is move from 1 to 2 then from 2 to 5 uh, move from 1 to 2 then from 2 to 1 then from 1 to 2 and finally from 2 to 3 so Okay, so that's what I am using. So that's the path. So out of all these paths, we can see that the uh, minimum cost is along this path. Okay, where I move from one to two, apply the coupon over here, giving me a overall cost of floor of three by two, that is one. Then from city number two to city number three, with a cost of one unit 1 plus 1 would give me 2 which is my answer okay so that's what we have to do in this problem fine i hope you got the approach let's jump to the code implementation i will be implementing the solution in c++ so let's write the function which returns an integer let's call it flight routes which takes in the number of flights and to be safe from the integer overflow let's keep let's use long long instead of int okay and here i will be okay so let's first declare an m that is number of cities and the number of connections so then declare a adjacency list so we also have to declare one more adjacency list to just for the reverse graph 
so we'll take three integers a b c well there is a flight from a to b with the cost of c so we have to make a flight from a to b with the cost of c then we have to make a flight from b to a with the cost of c okay then declare a predicate then just call the dastra algorithm for both of these graphs for the graph from for the first graph the source city is city number 1 while for the second graph the source city is city number n so these functions will return our min cost so let's say it would be dastra will pass the source city which is city number 1 the number of nodes and the graph same goes for the reverse graph we'll find min cos reverse it is extra so city will be n number of nodes and the graph itself okay then let's declare a variable answer and initialize it with a very large number let's call it infinity let's define the infinity here so hash define infinity let's say it would be 10 to the power 18 1 e 80 now let's iterate over every city where the edge starts so let's iterate over every city which represents the starting of the edge so from 1 to n now we'll consider all the edges starting from city number i okay so just iterate over all the edges so let's call it neighbor for all the cities starting from for all the edges starting from city number i so for all these edges check if if it is not reachable if this neighbor if this neighbor this is not reachable in that case its min cost would be very large number min cost for this neighbor is very large number so if it is in reachable or i'm considering all the edges which are starting from city number i so first consider if this city i is reachable or not that i'm checking here if it if it if if we have infinity here that means this city i is not reachable also check if its neighbor city where the edge is ending is reachable or not so min cos for reverse graph for city num for neighbor city is reachable or not if it is not reachable then simply continue from here otherwise if it is reachable then simply update the answer with the possible cost that we may have by considering by applying the coupon for this edge the edge from city number i to this neighbor okay so apply the coupon here so we simply find the min cost for city i plus i apply the coupon over so we can write it this way so the city to which we are going to is neighbor dot first while the cost for this edge is c which is neighbor dot second and let's update it to be 2 let's update this to be c by 2 plus min cost reverse so its cost basically 
rivers from city to to n so from n to city 2 would be this and it w the answer will be updated if you have a better answer it will be updated so in this fashion I will have my answer here which I will print at the end of this function fine so let's now write the definition of this test trial algorithm function so it is simple so it simply returns a vector okay it takes in the source city the number of nodes the graph now declare a distance array initialize it with very large number set its distance to be 0 because we are starting from the source set the distance of the source to be 0 declare a min heap pass in the comparator pq push the source city along with its distance so distance is 0 push this source city run the while loop while the city is not empty the usual diastra algorithm pop the top node from the queue okay now we know that the node is p dot first p dot second and the cost is p dot first check if the cost that we already have in the distance array for this node is better than the cost which is there in this pair in that case continue right from here otherwise iterate over the neighbors okay neighbor for this node the node where we are going its cost and distance for this node let's check for the distance for this node where we are going so for the neighbor node let's check if the if we can update the distance for neighbor node if this is greater than c plus the cost that we have for the for the node we are from where we are coming if it is the case then update this distance for this neighbor node so it's not neighbor it's the node where we are going so for this node 2 it would be c plus distance distance from the node where from where we are coming push the newly updated distance for this neighbor node 2 along with the node itself finally at the end return the distance array so we have our distance array returned from here fine so in this way this function is working so let's submit it okay so there's a problem min costs was not declared min costs okay min cost where I'm using min okay so here is the bug okay so let's submit it again okay it's accepted so that's all so that's all for this video if you like the video then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned with me for more such problem solutions we will be solving a lot of problems using diastra algorithm and 
आई होप टू सी यू ऑल इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो